Hi everyone! Nice to see you again! Today, I'm gonna show you how to do a beautiful side do that's inspired by my favorite Harry Potter character, Hermione Granger. She wore this hairstyle in the fourth movie when she showed up at the Yule Ball and stunned everybody. I absolutely adore this side do and I think it'd be perfect for formal school dances such as homecoming or prom. To get started, you're going to need some curls and you can use any tools that you have. In my case, I'm using a 1 inch curling iron and I'll quickly show you how I did my curls. I'm sectioning my hair in half and working with the bottom layers first. I'm grabbing a 1 inch section of hair and curling that away from my face. Then, I'm grabbing another section and this time I'm curling it towards my face so the curls won't bunch up together. Once I was done with the bottom layers, I released down more hair to work with. I repeated the same steps all the way around until I was done with every section of hair. I'd like to note here that for the sections around my face, I usually like to curl them away from me so they will look more volumized. I also curled my bangs away from my face to help with the styling later. Okay, so now that we have our curls, let's move on to the actual updo slash side do. You're going to section out the top of your crown by following the ends of your eyebrows. Then, grab a comb and slightly tease it to give it some body and shape. Form this into a poof and secure it with some bobby pins. Divide out a section right behind your ear on the side that's opposite of your bangs and tease this section as well. Place it right next to the poof earlier and pin it down. Now be ready to do some rolls or pin curls. Start by grabbing the hair from the section that you just pinned down and wrap it around two to three fingers going in an upward direction. This will create a roll and you're going to pin it down at the middle of your head. Then. Grab a 1 inch section of hair from the side and wrap it around your fingers, going upward again. Place this row right under the first one and pin it down. Next, take the remaining hair from your poof earlier and roll it up. Pin this down right next to the first row. Continue the same step with another section and you should have 4 rolls in total for now that slightly creates the shape of a fan. Moving on, you're going to divide out a section of hair right behind your ear on the side of your bangs. Tease this section and temporarily move your bangs out of the way. Smooth out the tease section and pull it back, pinning it right under the last roll that you just made. Then, roll this up and pin it around the middle. This is the last roll, I promise. When you're done, you should have 5 rolls that forms a flower updo. Now, divide your hair in half and bring one of the section to the side of your bangs by twisting it up and pinning it right next to the updo. Lastly, pull your bangs back and pin it down. Hermione has a cute sparkly pin in the back of her hair, so if you have something similar, you can place it right under the updo where it meets with the twist. And you're done! This hairstyle takes a little more time and effort than some of the others, but I think it is so worth it. It's an elegant look that's beautiful, soft, and romantic. This can also be a great idea for Halloween if you're planning to be a Greek goddess. You just have to pin a gold string or chain over your head or place it over your forehead and you have yourself a gorgeous goddess hairstyle. I hope you girls will give this look a try for your next special event and if you do, you can share with me your results through Instagram. I'd love to see it. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you liked it to show your support and comment your next tutorial request below. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you all soon. Toodles!